It's your girl, Sid, from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your June 2023 general reading. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. Make sure y'all say hello in the comments below, and make sure that you all do the things like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you are looking for a personal reading, you can book over on SavvySentient.com, and there's also some merch over there. And if you are looking to learn tarot or you just want to check out some bonus content, please consider becoming a channel member or a patron. That information is linked in the description box below as well. If you'd like to know what I'm doing when I'm not reading tarot and reading y'all for a fill, you can check out my other channel, Simply Savvy, where you can follow my lock journey as well as, you know, gardening and whatever else I got going on. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what y'all really got going on. All right, let's go. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So while I was channeling your energy, your spirit guides, your ancestors, angels, uh, have given me this message. It says, every time you give, you can't expect the same in return. So essentially, don't give with the expectation of receiving something back. It doesn't have to be transactional every time you give. And also, the name or country, China. They said China. So that may be significant to you. Let me know if China is significant to you in the comments below. But let's go ahead and see what this is in reference to. Um, I get this energy of also not expecting you from other people, like not expecting people to treat you how you treat them. I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles as well as I shuffle with the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, maybe a new cycle on your own. Maybe there's certain people that you need to break away from um, because you can't expect reciprocity from them. But what is the overall energy here, Spirit? The Daughter of Swords in the reverse. So the Daughter of Swords in the reverse speaks to gossip, uh, people watching you, spying on you. Um, perhaps you are gossiping about other people because they don't reciprocate or they're not um, responding to you in kind. Or vice versa. Maybe, you know, people are doing things for you and you're not responding in kind. So now they're talking about you. But um, let's see what the situation is. We have the Empress. Okay. Abundant energy, fertile energy, self love energy. All right, spirit, speak to me, speak through me. What is this situation? What is the situation here? have the Hermit and the Three of Wands. The Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Hanged One. Okay. I feel like Spirit is telling you to do some introspection to decide what it is you're actually expecting or wanting from this situation. Or maybe you have been very introspective um, and wanting to move, move away, expand, travel. Maybe there's something that you're um, wanting from the situation that is not being produced. We also have the Nine of Wands right next to that. So you're tired of like fighting for it. You're willing to give up on this situation. And that's followed by the hanged one, okay? So definitely surrendering energy. Uh, the hanged one is also very, um, I wouldn't say introspective, but like very meditative and very um, enlightened, if, if you will, very enlightened. Um, hence the halo around her head. But I feel like after some time dealing with this situation, 
perhaps you you are not getting from the situation what you've expected. Your ships are not coming in and you're just tired of fighting for it. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be pretty much anything. So take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, let's, let's look a little deeper. What is it that they're, that Aquarius is ready to give up on with the hang on energy? What is it that they're ready to surrender? Like Ten of Swords. Like you're ready to, to end something. And it may be something that is painful for you to end. But it really feels like you're exhausted or you're over it. And you want to quit? Tell me more. What is this, Ten of Swords? Two of Swords. So there's a stalemate here as well. So you're definitely at a crossroads. Maybe there's no movement happening in the situation. And you are just tired of waiting for something. So you're making a head over heart decision to end the situation, to surrender the situation, because it is not what you thought it was going to be or what it maybe even promised to be. Perhaps you feel like you're, you're giving more energy to it than it is giving to you or to them or to the job or to whatever it is. And you would rather just let it go than continue to wait on something that you don't think is going to show up for you. So what are the obstacles that Aquarius is waiting for or dealing with in the situation? Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. I told y'all I've seen the Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles with the Magician in the reverse. Girl. Sharkisha, no. So we have you stressed out, losing sleep, you know, full of insomnia over this situation. That's part of your obstacles that you're like really, um, it's weighing very heavily on your mind. With the Nine of Pentacles in the center of the reading, being a part of independence. So whether this is a relationship or a job, and I feel like you've been really considering just being alone, like being by yourself. Because whatever was promised to you in the situation is taking too long to be produced. And I feel like no matter what you do, Five of Pentacles with the Magician in the reverse, you always come up empty handed. You always come up short. You have the inability to manifest something better than what the situation is, is showing you. Okay, Five of Pentacles energy is that lack energy, that is poverty, that is abandonment, that is not enough. And with the magician in reverse, and you are unable to manifest anything more, like, or the situation is not manifesting anything more. With the Nine of the Pentacles, <laughs> Nine of the Pentacles, with the Nine of Pentacles in the center of the reading, it's like, you would be better off alone. At least you would have Nine Pentacles. Over here, you only have five. And the five is just not enough. <laughs> but at least if you were by yourself, you would have more for yourself. So I feel like your obstacle is, do I keep dealing with the situation and keep struggling to come up with enough? Or do I peace out on the whole situation and take what I have, okay, and use that for my own good. It's kind of like you're splitting your resources with someone or something, because a resource could be energy, your time, uh, but you're splitting it among things that are not giving you any return. Mm. All right, so what is the result? How does this situation conclude? What is it that Aquarius is gonna do? How does this conclude? Ace of Wands. Ten of Cups. <laughs> period. All right, so yeah, period. Okay, so you have two aces. You have the Ace of Wands, which is new opportunities, doors being open for you. So I do feel like the way you resolve the situation is that you are going to take another opportunity. 
You're going to go do something different. You're going to create a new beginning for yourself. That's going to bring in harmony and a happily ever after, even if it's just, you know, on a small scale. This is not like Cinderella's castle and all that jazz. But, you know, something that brings peace and harmony into your life. You're going to take this opportunity. You're going to make a choice that brings peace and harmony into your own life. We have the full energy. You're going to take a leap of faith. Full energy is the beginning of the major arcana. So this is a new beginning. You're going to just do something different. <laughs> Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Victory, success, clarity. There may be a conversation that has to be, you know, had where you're, if this is a relationship, you're going to tell them like, this is not working. I'm going to go off on my own and do my own thing and, you know, live my own life. I need a clean slate. If this is a job, same energy. Y'all told me I would be here at this point in my career. You have not even given me a raise, <laughs> whatever the case is. And so I'm going to go check out other opportunities because I feel like I will have more success elsewhere. Um, at the bottom of the deck now is the Seven of Swords. So you may need to be very strategic in the way that you move away from this situation um, in a way that doesn't affect your, your money, your stability, your safety with the Empress right underneath that, okay? So let's get your rebel messages. And it's been a long time since I've done these, but they bet. <laughs> If you all are new here and you're not familiar with the Rebel deck, it's very disrespectful. It's very rude. Um, and that's why I like it. This is not a love light channel, as the disclaimer has already let you know. So get into it. <laughs> all right. So Rebel, Rebel, talk nice or don't. I don't care. But please tell Aquarius what they need to hear. What do they need to hear right now about this situation, Rebel? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Mm. You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. All right, so some of you all are giving too much to this situation. And like I said earlier, you may feel like you're better off alone or better off on your own. You have nine pinnacles on your own while you're trying to split five and have very limited resources when you are in this situation. So you may be giving away your power in that way. All right, tell me more. What is it that Aquarius needs to know, Rebel? What is it that Aquarius needs to know? Shit is going down with your job. Yeah, so for some of y'all, this is definitely about your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Period. If it 12 12 on the clock when I'm saying this, y'all, if this is about your job, you're not tripping. You're not tripping. Move around. Move around. And what's the last rebel message? What's the last? Winning. Winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. And I feel like what that is, is this idea in your mind, this, I feel like you have, have come to terms with the fact that, you know, things are not going to be what they were promised to be. And I feel like the, the way that you're winning is that you have that understanding. So these thoughts that you have about going off on your own, Finding something new, doing something new, taking this ace of wands and this ace of swords, this full energy, and and doing something with that versus staying in the situation and hoping that it changes or gets better. <laughs> it's not gonna get better. Like having that thought process is how you're winning. Taking these opportunities is how you're going to be winning. So yeah, let's get into your crystal spirit. See what guidance the crystals have to offer you. Mm. You ain't tripping, friend. You better by yourself. Nine of Pentacles in the center of the reading. Mm -mm -mm. All right, crystal spirit. So what message do we have for Aquarius? 
All right, Aquarius, so you actually have two crystal spirits, and the first one is turquoise. It says storytelling, reframing a different way of perceiving is the essential meaning. Each of us can experience the same event differently because we because all of us are coming from different vantage points. Know too that as you change, so will your perspective. And the message Turquoise Spirit has for you is that you can change your story of what happened in the past at any time. You can choose which details to focus on and how to interpret events, for you are being encouraged to claim your power as a storyteller. Make no mistake, storytelling is an awesome power, for no one can take your truth away from you. But you may discover that it has more angles than you realize, just as a crystal turned over in your hand has more facets than apparent at first glance. What story will you tell? Will it be one of heroic empowering, worthy of your hard work and efforts to heal what is wounded within you? Rest assured that you can be honest about all that you have experienced and done. Yet still write a story that will help you feel that you are strong, wise, and supported by the conscious universe. The truth we all share is complicated, and the way you tell your truth is up to you. So Turquoise Spirit encourages you to write your story well and in a way that honors, empowers, and heals you and gives you the strength, even if others may not seem to accept your truth. Tell it anyway, for doing so is a healing act. So, if you gotta go, if you feel like you've been slighted, mishandled, lied to in any way, shape, or form, that's your story. That's your truth. Tell it regardless of whoever approves of your truth. They can write their own story if they don't like it. <laughs> and your next crystal is Moonstone. Number 37, which is a, reduces down to 10, which reduces down to one, which is about independence, okay? It's nine of Pentacles energy as well. Um, so your Moonstone's essential meaning is intuition, insight, inner wisdom, and inner voice. Your leading energy was the hermit, so trusting your inner voice. Inner knowing, inner sensing. These are the talents that the conscious universe has bestowed upon all of us, but we, we have been conditioned to minimize their importance and instead pay more attention to the knowing that comes from experiencing life through our physical senses and logical analysis. Do you hone your intuition? Do you trust it? Even when you can't point to a logical reason why you know what you know? Your message from the Moonstone Spirit is to tune in and listen to your intuition. It will speak to you through an inner voice, an inner vision, an inner sensation that feels real because, well, it is. It has many ways of communicating with you. Now is the time to pull back the veil between the visible and invisible worlds. Trust that the hidden reality matters and know that your intuition comes from the conscious universe which possesses wisdom, knowledge, and understanding far beyond your own. Okay, so if you've been having dreams, if you've been having feelings, if you've been having thoughts that don't seem to originate from you, but are telling you a truth about your situation, trust it, even if you can't make logical sense of it. All right, so let's get your advice. Mother of Swords, as I said, the deck, use your discernment, trust what you are seeing, okay? And what is the advice? Nine of Wands, but it's kind of coming out sideways, like it wants to be reversed. Chariot. Bro, can never make it up, period. Whatever this is, I'm going to go ahead and take this nine of wands in the reverse. You already have it in the reverse earlier, but I feel like spirit is telling you to just give up on this. Whatever this is, let it go. It's time for you to move forward towards something else. It's time for you to push towards something that you're more destined to uh, and more in alignment with. And the nine of pentacles are showing up again and do it on your own. 
All right, so if this is a relationship, it's time to let that thing die with the death card. If this is a job that has been making you promises, telling you you're gonna get promoted, telling you that things are gonna be different and you haven't seen any difference, it's time to let that die. If this is a friendship that has just been super trash, that you've been giving so much to and this person is not reciprocating, it is time to let this die. You are better off on your own. So, let's get your postcard from Spirit and wrap this up in a cute little bow. Spirit, speak to me, speak through me. What is the message? All right, and it says, dearest you, we're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the languages of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. What did I just say? What did I just say to y'all? And what did your moonstone say? Y'all have been getting messages about this and y'all are not tripping. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs, and the second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say. Loving you so much. All right? So you're not tripping. You're not tripping at all about how you feel about the situation. You're not tripping and thinking that maybe you're better off on your own. Okay, you've been getting signs, you've been getting symbols through your dreams, through angel numbers, <laughs> 12, 22, 2, 2, 2, as I'm saying that. All right, you've been getting messages. So trust them. You know what you gotta do in this situation. All right, so that is your message, Aquarius. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. I do respond and read all the comments okay so i respond to them all um if this resonates just let me know in the comments please make sure that you like share and subscribe as that does help the channel grow uh if this resonates too much and you need a personal reading you can definitely book at savvysentient.com all personal readings do come with a personal channeling and more personal messages and of course until the very next time i read for you all i wish you all love and light now please go get it right <laughs> and i'll see y'all in the next one bye